This is it. This is the shop, right? This is where you make the furniture and the magic happens there <laughs> with the wood. Yeah, welcome to the uh, welcome to the the secret place. We'll give everybody a look at this. Hang on, this is Pete Koch <laughs> with Steve Simple. We're breaking it down. Don't go away. Hey, Pete Koch here, breaking it down. I'm with friend Steve Zimpel. We go back a ways. Uh, good to see you again, Steve. <laughs> yeah, huh? you too. Good to be here. We know each other from acting class, trained with uh, John Lacey. The man. The man. The Meisner of, man. Oh, boy, Meisner. This <laughs> Meisner technique. And then we worked together on a web series. Yep. The Reveal. We uh, did that together. That was... That was where we really got to hang out and spend some time. That was, again, John Lacey writing and directing. And uh, I jumped in and helped produce with him. And I remember when he said he's got this character for this guy. He's just, he's kind of a mountain of a man. He doesn't have to say much, but he's got this presence. And he said, Peacock. Yeah, that should work. Well, well that's, that's where I came in. <laughs> but if you, and we're going to, we're going to direct you to, uh, to find the the reveal on on the, the internet, we'll we'll help you find that. We'll put that in the show notes. But Steve carries he does the heavy lifting in the reveal. <laughs> he's got he's our lead, and it's um, it's something I'm very proud of. I've got a small role, but I'm proud of the work that I did. I'm really Fantastic. proud of the work that Steve did. Uh, looking back on it later, and we're gonna put some pictures up and, and some okay. uh, give give the folks watching this interview a chance to see some of it. Uh, in fact, let's put a cut in right now. We'll come back. All right, let's see what we got. I feel like I've been cursed since the day I was born to live a life of regret. I'm a run of 45, <laughs> the only friend I know. Mississippi in the summer. that your wife may have been a victim of a violent crime investigation. Hell is on my back for sure. There's going to be a whole lot of sorry people down in Memphis. Are you familiar with the marshmallow test? All right, that was pretty good. I like it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's fun. You can see, I don't know if you can see that we're having fun by watching it because of the, the content, but... Uh, the okay. operative word, right, that, that John Lacey, the creator of this show, would, uh, and I've, I've interviewed him before, we'll talk to him about it, is uh, he, would, he would go and talk about film noir. Yeah. He film wanted noir. a very stylistic piece. Yeah. He wanted something to, to uh, sort of represent a, a bygone era of filmmaking. And creating his own world. His, his feeling and belief was that make no apologies to anybody. This is our world. Step into it and be a part of it. And if you can do that, then it works because you have that 50s feel, the, the film noir, everything that goes along with that. But you have modern technology in it, things that don't seem to line up, but uh, it, all, it all pays off in the end and explains itself. Great. Let me step back. I kind of got a little bit ahead of myself. When, how long have you been acting, Steve, and how did you get into the business? What's your, what's your background? Um, getting into acting, I mean, I, I guess I moved to L.A., 15, 16 years ago, time from? flies from Virginia, Northern Virginia, right near DC. And uh, it was one of those things, my brother and I moved out here. Our family, we're all characters. We're always performing, just kind of being silly and doing our stuff, movie lines and reenacting things. And uh, my brother at one point decided, you know what, let's go to LA and do this. And I said, right on, I'm with you. Drove cross country and started it. And uh, yeah, it took some just, guts. Hold on. I mean, a lot of people <laughs> think about that, right? How, how many folks are out there all over the United States, all over the world, and you think, I'm going to take a shot and take that shot at Hollywood, man. I, can, I know I can deliver, and, uh, and but then you, it fizzles, right? You never really, because things get in the way, but you did it. But it's brutal. I mean, you know that, and everybody with that dream, it's, it's I, I think you, uh, you would definitely agree that it's important to remember to follow that dream, to go for it. And in the beginning, when people are saying, don't do this, you know, oh, don't waste your time with that. You really, the people that push through and say, even whether or not you fail or succeed, it's not like I've reached any huge level of success, but 
I came out here and did it. It's when my last day comes, I'll never say, man, I wish I, I wish I had really tried to be an actor. I wish I had gotten out there and did it. Because I did. You did. You did for sure. We'll talk about that. But part of your plan mm -hmm. was to come out here and make sure you had a day job. Right. And <laughs> so we'll tell, tell, tell us about that. Yeah, that's something interesting is that, that would be advice to anybody coming out here. Figure out what you're doing during the day. Because, Commit with a plan. Man, because that will quickly come up and bite you where it hurts. And uh, that happened to me. It was bouncing from job to job, doing this and that. And I grew up a builder. My dad was a big developer, and I grew up building. It was just something I always knew. Like, you, you know, you learn how to walk, and you know how to do it. And one You're day... Swinging that hammer early on, right? Yeah, I was seven years old when I started using power tools. And I just thought that was normal. You right? I mean, whatever. But somebody asked for help with something in their home. I said, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I, I can take care of that for you. And somebody else asked, and they told somebody, they told somebody, and all of a sudden I had a truck full of tools, my contractor's license, oh, yeah. and I'm doing all this stuff going, where did this come from? And I realized that, man, that is, that is what I can be doing to earn money. Not just earn money, but have a career and have a living. And then, obviously, those two worlds collided. Which <laughs> brings us to your latest project, yeah. which is... I, mean, um, I think very exciting, actually. It's, 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 there's an, sometimes in life, the, thing, the planets line up. And here's an amalgam. Here's an opportunity to couple your skills as a professional carpenter with your personality as an actor. Being on TV. And it's, that's something that you, the best laid plans. You, you never know what the big man has in store for you. And you come out here. I, you know, I, don't, I don't really want to be doing carpentry. I, I, I'm an actor. I want to be working on TV acting. And then one day, a good friend of mine from high school was producing um, Design Star okay. and came to me and said, would you want to do some carpentry work? I was like, yeah, great. Y'all work do with it. my friend. This would be yeah. fun. Uh, a producer from, or one of the, the heads of HGTV said to my friend, hey, does your buddy want to do this stuff for real? And he said, uh, yes, yes, he does. So he just threw me out there. Brad, Bradley Kell, thank you. And uh, Thanks, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> So I got an agent, a friend of mine hooked me up with an agent for uh, hosting, and yep. my first audition out, I booked The Outdoor Room with Jamie Dury. There you go. So first day, we ran 53 episodes. When was that? That show. That was, geez, 09 through 11, yeah, maybe? Yeah, 53 episodes. That's a yeah. nice run. And it just goes, but the thing is, you're working so hard, and it was my day job, so my day job building, now I'm on TV, it didn't seem like I was really... Performing. Is that just is, doing it? Can folks still get a hold of those episodes? Is, did that go into a, a yeah? It should a still be. Set of, it should still be online. Yeah, I think yeah. on HG you can probably still watch HGV.com. Uh, again, the name it. of the show was The Outdoor Room with Jamie Dory. Room. Crazy, ridiculous backyards over the top in not enough time. But that was that thing. The moment you realize, oh, my two worlds have collided. I'm a, I'm a builder on the side. Nobody needs to see that. I'm a performer. And then one day, performer and builder clap together, and uh, there you are, building on TV. And it was like, why didn't I think of this? Your acting training, did it prepare you for that moment? I, I feel like it probably did. I was, I've always been comfortable on camera. I've always been comfortable in front of people. I loved giving presentations in college. I just like that feeling of everybody looking at me. I don't know if that's <laughs> vain or... <laughs> I just, it Could was be. fun. It, you'd, you'd be so nervous and scared inside and everything's choking up and you're trying to keep it straight. But man, it was a rush that I didn't get anywhere else. It, it was, it's easy doing everything else, but getting up in front of a camera, man, it was tough. It's tough. But well, you know, we all have to be prepared for that opportunity. And, that, and that's where the breakthrough is going to happen for us. Mm -hmm. And if you, you could have been, you know, building furniture and creating things for years and years. But if, if you weren't just confident in your presentation your your ability to come across and communicate articulate articulate ideas yeah. about what you're doing you just you, there's no way you would have been cast on the show you were ready i i believe and i tell folks this all the time acting class isn't just for actors it's for those folks that want to learn how to most effectively communicate with others and yeah. that's an incredibly important thing to be able to do in life that's a good point that's a good point take us update us on where that hosting is and, and right. has gone to. <laughs> so hosting hasn't been something that I've pushed on personally. It's one of those things that it's just always been there. So I've always auditioned and I've been close on a handful of shows. 
And then uh, Ellen's Design Challenge, which is a Ellen DeGeneres. Few people know who she is, I guess. For her? <laughs> she does a design furniture design challenge. Uh, this will be the second year now. And I got brought on as a carpenter to work with one of the designers. So it's a group of designers that all battle by designing and building furniture in a ridiculously short amount of time. And then you get judged on it. And I'm on until I get voted off, till my designer gets voted off. And I oh mean, it was a blast. And after doing Jamie's show, this was actually pretty easy. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. So we just want to play this out. So you're, you're tasked with building a piece of furniture that was designed by your teammate, your partner. That you were assigned to. Right. At the beginning of the show. Yeah. And the, I, I do, I have to hand it to the producers because a lot of times you've been on enough sets that you know a lot of these reality shows are set up for drama or they purposely do something to create problems. Mm -hmm. They cast everybody so perfectly together that it, it just created these fantastic bonds. The girl I'm paired with, Melissa... Uh, it's just, we, we were perfect. perfect. It was like brother and sister being put together, brother and sister to get along. And we had a blast with the same style, same feel. And everybody else that was put together, it was it was great. And we so, ended up helping each other out a lot. And, well, I love that because here are the producers, and this seems consistent with Ellen's brand, yeah. right? Yeah. Where the producers put two people that didn't know each other together yeah. in the hopes, in the sincere hopes, that they're going to have the greatest success possible. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Was it a good experience? Overall? It was a great experience, and I went in, I knew one of the guys, one of the other carpenters, he's the reason I decided to, to go ahead and do it, and um, the other guys I met were just tops, I mean, just the most incredible guys, and they're lifelong friends. They're guys that now they come into town and give me a call. I'm there for them. That's a great story. You know, great guys. This this town has a, uh, a history of some carpenters that have done pretty uh, well for themselves in Hollywood. You guys, somebody. What's that guy's Harrison, name? Harrison. Oh, right. Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford. Han Solo. <laughs> and, and, and others. It's, it, there might yeah. be something about the uh, that part of your brain that's working creatively with the wood that accesses yeah. that creativity as a as an actor i like that yeah, yeah. i'm gonna go with that that's deep i'll take that can yeah. i borrow that one it's, it's <laughs> some stuff isn't it that's good but that you know the creative is creative and i think whatever you're doing if it's if it's something that you're putting your personal self into that unfiltered piece that maybe people get to see or maybe people don't get to see that if it really comes out in whatever work you're doing whatever it is then yeah you have Tap that creative place. I like it. How do folks get a hold of Steve Zimple? Oh, I don't know. How do you get a hold of me? Facebook, I guess, uh, for Facebook, sure. Facebook, Facebook there's uh, Steven Zimple Photography. There's Oh, we didn't my... even get to that. <laughs> but what I'll, I'll put that in the show notes, all this information and a couple of examples of Steve's uh, headshots. So yeah. that's, we got, how many balls are you that's, working? That's the problem is you get stuck. I mean, look, you're the same thing doing a million. It's, it's LA. You but do they, everything. But folks get a hold of you on, on Facebook. Is that the preferred way or yeah. your, your website? Yeah. Facebook is easy because it's uh Steven Zimple photography or Z artisan woodworks. Uh, and that's where you can see some of the custom work I've done. And, uh, online, my, website for my building is mm -hmm. just Z Artisan Woodworks, ZAWoodworks.com. Good. We like that. Go check that yeah. out and uh, think about this guy when you need a talented carpenter or actor or photographer or just need to <laughs> hang out with an all-around good guy. Just Steve. a friend to talk to. <laughs> he is Steve Zimple. Thanks for your time. Thank you. This is Pete breaking it down. See you again.